And when Allah said He has completed this deen for all of you, are the deen only for the Arabs? For the Muslim? No. Allah said in Surah Al-Baqarah, the second chapter of the Quran, Shahr Ramadan Allazi Unzila Fihi Al-Quran Hudan Lil Nas Wa Bayinati Min Al-Huda Wa Al-Furqan Now it's important for us to remember Quran is one of the names given by Allah in this book. But they also have other names that Allah used for Quran. First, Allah used Quran. Why He used Quran? Because this book is a book for you to read, for every human to read, a recital. From the root word of Qara'ah, read. Quran also Allah said, Zalik al-Kitab. Allah named Quran with another name. Zalik al-Kitab, the book. Not just book, but the book. When Allah said the book, is something is written. Something that is written, black and white. Not something is hidden, no. Something is very transparent. That anybody can read. That's why he called Zalik al-Kitab la rayba fihi. Quran is a book that there's no doubts in it. It's not written by anyone. Even it was written by the companion of the Prophet. But the original word is not man-made. But it's Allah. <laughs> Allah said in Surah Al-Baqarah, the second chapter of the Quran, Shahr Ramadan al-lazi unzila fihi al-Quran. Hudan lil-nas wa bayinati min al-huda wal-furqan. Now it's important for us to remember, Quran is one of the names given by Allah in this book. But they also have other names that Allah used for Quran. First, Allah used Quran. Why He used Quran? Because this book is a book for you to read, for every human to read, a recital. From the root word of Qara'ah, read. Quran also Allah said, Zalik al-Kitab. Allah named Quran with another name. Zalik al-Kitab, the book. Not just book, but the book. When Allah said the book, is something is written. Something that is written, black and white. Not something is hidden, no. Something is very transparent. That anybody can read. That's why he called Zalik al Kitab la rayba fihi. Quran is a book that there's no doubts in it. It's not written by anyone, even it was written by the companion of the Prophet. But the original word is not man made, but it's Allah. Allah the Creator is the one who revealed the Prophet Muhammad through Angel Gabriel. Quran also Allah gave other names such as Inna nahnu nazzalna zikra wa inna lahu lahafizun Allah said in the Quran and indeed we have revealed the zikr means Quran is like a reminder and we are going to protect the authenticity of this book Allah promised us this last final revelation of Allah is going to be protected by Allah himself that's why you can see the book of Torah has been distorted. Even the Jew who are very sincere, he want to know about the teaching of Moses, what is written in the original Torah. They don't have the means to get the original copy anymore because it's been changed and been distorted by the high priest. Even the Christian today, who want to follow the teaching of the Word of God, not the Word of Jesus. You see, there's a difference between the Word of God and the Word of Jesus. In our tradition, the Muslim, when you say the Word of Allah, you only get in the Quran. The saying of the Prophet is not in the Quran, it's in the Hadith. But if you ask the other people, 
Where is the word of Moses? They don't know. Where is the word of Jesus? Torah is the word of God. But there must be some saying of Moses. There must be some saying of Jesus. Like Quran in Islam, you have Quran, the saying of Allah, Al-Kitab. And you have Hadith, the saying of the Prophet. They do not mix together. God saying is God saying. But if anything that comes from the Prophet, it will be compiled in a different book to differentiate this is word of God and this is word of the Prophet. There's a beauty of this book. It do not mix the saying of Prophet Muhammad and the saying of Allah. It's a zikr, a reminder, because human always forget. You need somebody to come and remind you. And the best person to remind you is God. Because if anyone else come to remind you, you may just disagree with them. You ignore their reminder, but if come from God, you have no choice. How can you, believer, ignore the reminder of God, of Allah? You cannot do that. If I come to say to your brother, don't do this, you know, it's not good. This is what I say, you can just ignore it. But if I come to say to your brother, Allah said this, now how are you going to deal with this? I always say, I'm not going to follow you. You don't have to follow me. I didn't say, follow me. I say, this is what Allah said. You have no choice. As a believer, you have no choice. You just got to believe in it. Now, in the Holy Quran, so Allah said, Quran is being known as Al-Furqan. Shahr Ramadan al-lazi unzila fihi al-Quran. Hudan lil nasi wa baynati min al-huda wal-Furqan. Before I come to Furqan, I will touch on Huda. Quran also is been known as Huda. Means guidance, a divine guidance. It's divine because it's come from Almighty Allah. It's a guidance. That's why you see the Muslim, Alhamdulillah, they are being guided. From the day you were born until you die, everything is written in the Quran. How to you know, welcome a newborn baby? And how are you going to do to the people who pass away? From the day you are born until you die, all, everything is in the Quran. What is your duty to yourself is written in the Quran. What is your duty towards your parent is duty in, is written in the Quran. What is the duty between you and Allah also is written in the Quran. What is your responsibility between you and the Prophet is in the Quran. What is the response between you and fellow mankind is in the Quran. Everything is written in the Quran. Your responsibility as a husband is in the Quran. The responsibility as a father is in the Quran. The responsibility as a trader is in the Quran. Everything. As a leader, everything is there. That's why I say it's a divine guidance. Huda, linnas. Allah said, the Quran is not only for the Muslim. Allah never said that He revealed the Quran for Muslim. So it's wrong for the Muslim to say this Quran is only for me. No. It is a sin for all Muslims who do not share the Quran with your friends who are not yet Muslim. Now, I call upon people who are not yet Muslim, not yet Muslim. I don't call them non-Muslim. In our organization in Malaysia, Al-Khadim, we have a lot of activities for all Malaysians and people who come and visit Malaysia to participate in our activities and in our class. And every day, every Sunday when we have classes, we have Muslim, local, foreigners, we have new Muslim, we have people who are not yet Muslim attending because we said this Quran that we are going to teach you is for everybody.